Hey guys, welcome back to another pickup video. Today I'm going to go over the uh, DVDs, Blu-rays, 4Ks that I have gotten in the past month or so. Uh, this is going back to, I guess, uh, August 2018 and uh, started out here with a bit of cringe. This is the uh, Out and About Movie 2 Las Vegas. The uh, Wet Movie 1 self-released Blu-ray. And uh, he's a, a YouTuber, if you're not familiar with them, does uh, DVD, Blu-ray reviews, and just uh, kind of a vlog series. And uh, there's the inside. This is the crowdsourced movie. Um, it was a burned DVD, it looks like, or a burned Blu-ray. Uh, pretty enjoyable if you're a fan of his content, and uh, I was one of the people that did the pre-order on this, and uh, I'm happy to have it. It's a cool little uh, thing you're probably not going to find in every collection, so it's not one of a kind, but it's a nice uh, nice one-off release, and I'm glad to have that in my collection. Uh, so for the next two here, go over some catalog material. This is the Digibook of the 1989 Batman. This was an eBay pickup, and this goes upside down. Uh, this is an eBay pickup. Uh, relatively inexpensive. It was only about five bucks. I was kind of uh, surprised it was so cheap. But the uh, picture on this was really good. It was a good restoration. I know there's a 4K of this out now, but I opted for the uh, digital packaging. Uh, again, very inexpensive for what it was. Uh, more so than the video on this, though. The audio was fantastic. I think the sound mix in this was great. Uh, I don't have a, a super high-end um, sound system here. Just a Vizio soundbar 5.1. But it sounded really, really good. Not just the uh, Danny Elfman mix, but the actual uh, movie itself. The actual dialogue and sound of the film. So this is a really nice release. Happy to have this. It's a cool looking uh, digibook. I don't think I've ever seen it before. Um, and these are relatively inexpensive on eBay. Five to ten bucks a piece. It's a really nice little pickup there. So I had to, of course, follow that up with Batman Returns. This is, of course, a sequel that was done a year or two later. Kind of disappointed with this release. It's a very bare bones steel book. Not even any interior art or anything else, just that steel looking color. But this was, uh, again, relatively inexpensive, about 10 bucks on Amazon. And again, it looks and sounds very, very good. Uh, I was a little disappointed I couldn't get matching Digibooks, but of course I'm a sucker for anything that's different packaging, so I'm glad I have this steel book now. And uh, both films were, were really good. I haven't seen either one in, uh, in quite a while, so it was kind of good to go back to see uh, two of the better uh, Batman films. Of course, the Nolan ones are great, but uh, these two with Michael Keaton and uh, done by Tim Burton are, are really good. Uh, some other miscellaneous stuff here before I get into some more of the genre stuff. Got a digibook of the right stuff. And I actually went out and hunted this one down. This is one of the few things I've actually, I've actually purchased recently in person. I uh, got this at uh, Barnes & Noble. It's about $27 or so, so a little on the expensive side. Um, but with all the stuff going on with the uh, Apollo mission, the 50th anniversary of the uh, moon landing, uh, last month or one of my last pickups, I got the uh, HBO series from Europe to the Moon and decided to pick up the right stuff. And of course, what better way to get that than the Digibook version? And of course, there's a less expensive uh, single release on Blu-ray, but I opted for that one. This is the last of my haul from Amazon Prime Day. Gladiator on 4K. Haven't actually gotten a chance to go through this one yet, but it was very inexpensive through Amazon Prime. It was something like $7 or so. So one day I'll crack this open and I give it a watch. I do believe this has the yeah, theatrical and unrated cut. So it's got a couple of different versions of the film. And that replaces the old uh, DVD that I had. So some more genre stuff here. This is the Arrow video release of Alice, Sweet Alice that came out recently. Of course it has the slip. There's the reversed cover art. And shot of the inside here. Single disc release. Whole bunch of stuff on the inside. Uh, this is actually really enjoyable. This is a replacement of the, or an upgrade rather, from the Anchor Bay DVD that came out way back when. The original one that was non-anamorphic. I uh, haven't seen this one in quite some time and I really enjoyed it. I see a lot of people referring to this as a proto-slasher uh, and I kind of agree. I understand that it's uh, one of the earlier slasher films. Um, of course dealing with a killer wearing a mask so it does kind of follow some of the Italian giallo stuff in a way but it's definitely an American film. And uh, yeah, it was, it was really enjoyable. It's one of uh, Brooke Shields' uh, earlier or earliest uh, performances. She's not in it very long, but she is in it. Uh, but yeah, very decent uh, film and it looked really good. Uh, great release by Arrow as always. Another Arrow pickup here. This one's in this little protective case or sleeve. Is Driller Killer, the Driller Killer, on Blu-ray. This is the Steel Book. I believe this has a DVD and a Blu-ray. Only reason I got this is because uh, MVD had a sale. They were running a uh, an Arrow Video Flash sale uh, last month, and this was like $9.99, so it was very, very inexpensive. So even the shipping was only around 15 bucks. 
And this is one I'd seen in the stores in this particular package. Didn't know anything about the film, but for $10, it's an Arrow Steel book, so I figured why not? And I really ended up enjoying this film. Um, I believe this was a 4K restoration, and there were a few different versions of the film on here. Uh, I watched the, uh, the longest one. I'm not sure what they refer to it as besides just an extended cut. Uh, but it's actually really enjoyable. This is one of those films that takes place in New York City, uh, late 70s, early 80s, I believe. And this was definitely when the city was still kind of a mess and the, you know really seedy and sleazy. And those are the kind of films I like to watch that take place in New York City. It just becomes a part of the film, more of a character than just a setting. So um, the film isn't fantastic, but it definitely is living up to its name. There is a guy that goes and kills people with a drill. So um, it was actually enjoyable for 10 bucks. I'm glad I got it anymore. I don't know if it'd be worth it. If you're going to pay an eBay price on it or if you find it at like FYE for like 30 bucks, I'd probably pass. But for $10, it was a solid, solid pickup. Next one here is Django the Bastard from Synapse. And Synapse isn't a label that does a whole lot that I get. Uh, or not, they don't release a whole lot that I purchased uh, recently anyway. They did some of their steel was came out a couple years ago. Uh, so I don't know if they're waiting for some other titles to come through. But I saw this was on sale on Amazon for like 16 bucks, And uh, I am kind of a casual spaghetti western fan. And this was a, a decent release. Uh, of course, it's not the uh, Franco Nero portrayal of Django, but it was a 4K restoration, I believe. It's a 2K scan. Uh, pretty typical type of film, but uh, I heard it played out more like a horror movie, and I don't really think it did, but it was a solid spaghetti western. Uh, decent release. And Synapse, you know, they do some really good stuff. Um, if you saw here, they uh, you see behind me. And yep, they are in Franklin. They just moved recently. They were down by the airport in Romulus, and now they moved to Franklin. Not quite sure where that is, but it's, I guess kind of a local company. Uh, so glad to support them. I uh, hope they do some new horror releases pretty soon. They did their 4K scan of Suspiria that came out a couple years ago, and it was more than solid. So I'm really looking forward if they got to see if they can do some uh, more niche titles, because this was a, a good release. And a film I probably wouldn't normally buy. It was something I saw as an advertisement that was on sale, and I'm glad that I got it. Next collection here is Waxwork 1 and 2 from Vestron with the slip. This is another one, I think it was like 10 bucks, an Amazon sale. Got both Blu-rays here, 1 and 2. And uh, the slip is reversible. Looks like it's artwork for part 2. I'll, I'll keep it a part 1 though, because I think this uh, is a little, little bit more appealing of uh, front cover. Um, I'd never seen these films before, but of course I had heard of them. And for... You know, really inexpensive Vestron release. I figured, why not? I uh, got two films for How bad could they be? I actually watched the uh, first one here today just a couple hours ago, and I really enjoyed it. Um, I think this would go up there as a very solid Halloween watch. Not that it takes place on Halloween, but I think it has a really good vibe to it. Uh, lots of really great practical effects in here. It wasn't over the top, like, uh, you know, gore fast or anything, but the effects, I think, were solid. Um, decent enough story. Uh, very enjoyable uh, horror comedy. Um Maybe not on the level of Return of the Living Dead or anything, but um, it was quite nice. Uh, there was an actual uh, zombie scene in this, too. Uh, not very long, but I thought that part was very well shot, uh, very well done. So, uh, enjoyable, and I'm actually kind of looking forward to watching the sequel now because I enjoyed the original so much, and I'll probably give this one a watch again not too long because we're approaching the Halloween season. Uh, let's see here, another one here. This is the Scream Factory release of the Dawn of the Dead remake. This was an eBay, or no, this was an Amazon purchase. Came with a slipcover, even though it's been out for a while. They, I took a gamble and they still had the uh, slipcovers there. So you got two discs. Uh, there's the unrated cut and the theatrical cut. These are both Blu-rays, so they're not a combo pack. Both Blu-rays, not a Blue and a DVD. And um, I saw this one in the theater when it first came out, and you know, I'm not really a big remake fan. I think a lot of people are kind of against remakes in general. Um, and Dawn of the Dead would definitely be, um, you know, on the, on the long list of films that I would have ever wanted to see remade. But they did a good job. I had a really good cast. I think the uh, the premise was, um, of course, it's Dawn of the Dead, so we know it's you know survivors going to be going to the mall to survive. But they didn't do verbatim. From the original film they took elements and they made some of it their own and i really appreciated that uh this was of course a Zack snyder film and i, I just it was it was enjoyable uh, i don't know if they had the blessing of some of the original individuals but tom savini and ken foray are in here can't recall the gentleman's name but he was the guy that played the uh the other 
male survivor in Dawn of the Dead. I know that's a travesty. I can't recall the character or actor's name, but had some cameos by some of the dead alumni in here. And yeah, it was it was enjoyable. I really did like it. Uh, as far as remakes go, it's it's not too bad. So uh, I can't say the same for the Day of the Dead remake or there have been some sequels to the remake and those were not good. But this is a good addition by, by Shout Factory. Uh, theatrical release, uncut release, or unrated release, um, definitely worth picking up, especially getting that slipcover. These are, you know, coveted by some people. I just like having them. So uh, if you're in the market for this, Amazon may still have a slipcover with your name on it. Saving, not necessarily the best for last, but probably the coolest edition that I got here is Hell Comes to Frogtown from Vinegar Syndrome. And I saw this was coming out. I had heard of this before. I knew Ronnie Piper was in it. And typically that'd be enough for me with you know, Roddy Piper being in a, some weird science fiction movie from the 80s. That usually be enough for me just to go ahead and buy it uh, on the blind. But I just couldn't really justify it until, of course, they said, hey, there's a slipcover and it's unique. Go ahead and buy this one instead. So I did. So it's a, it is a unique slipcover. It comes off like that from the top. And you have the interior box that matches the exterior. Which and see that this is somehow fastened, probably glued to the other side there. And then this is what you would get if you didn't get it with the slipcover. So there's a DVD and a blue inside here. And you got reversible artwork as well. It was just the other side to the outside slipcover there. And um, didn't really know a whole lot about this. I know I had heard about this before. It's a post-apocalyptic movie starring Roddy Piper. It takes place in the wasteland. So basically they shot it in the desert. And he is uh, a fertile male. And apparently they're looking for men that can create, or men that can help procreate to repopulate the earth. And there are these frog mutants. And that's pretty much all you need to know. Coupled with the fact that it stars Roddy Piper. Tons of 80s goodness here. Um, a very entertaining film. I'm not going to say it's great, but it was it was enjoyable and it's worth the purchase. Uh, if not for the badass slipcover they have here, it's just full of late 80s post-apocalyptic nostalgia. So even though I'm not nostalgic for it because I'd never seen it before, but it was still an enjoyable movie. So that's all I had this month. Of course, we're coming up to the Halloween season. My labels are doing some of their Halloween releases. Some of those will come out in September. Some of those will come out next month in October. Uh, I've got a bunch of pre-orders lined up, and I'm hoping to get a lot of cool stuff. And uh, going to continue just looking to see what kind of deals I can get, what else is out there on eBay and Amazon, and also in the stores. Uh, again, that right stuff, Digibook, was uh, a rare find from an actual store for me, so maybe there'll be some of that as well. So thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, next month, October, hopefully I get some more cool stuff to talk about. Thank you for watching.